Before going into the two percentage problems we're going to work out on this video, I want to make a quick point about um, percentage changes um, and show the importance of the basis. Um, notice how I drew two arrows. This goes from 100 to 80 and 80 to 100. Okay, and I want to I want to basically just illustrate what is the percentage change from 100 to 80. Okay, and again, when you find out percentages, you say, look, here's 100 is my initial amount. Okay, what is our change? It's minus 20. Okay, and what is 20 out of 100? 20 out of 100, of course, which you all know, is 20 percent. So from 100 to 80, we have a 20 percent decrease. Okay. Now from 80 to 100, somebody might just look and say, well, that's got to be a 20% increase, but that is not correct. Again, everything about percentage change deals with what your base is. And in this case, our base is 80. Okay. And again, instead of down 20, we're going to increase 20 to 100. But notice how when we take our percentage change, we take 20 divided by the base. And the base of this example is 80. Therefore, the percentage increase is actually 25%. Okay, so I just want to make that uh, clear because some people will get a little confused. When you're figuring out percentage change, you're going to do it relative to the starting point, not from uh, back and forth at the end points. Okay, so let's go to the uh, rest of the video and take a look at two problems. Okay, so we have uh, approximately 18% of students are athletes. If there are 44 athletes, how many students attend the school? And again, uh, there's a lot of words here. We just need to basically convert it into numbers or a formula uh, and find out how many students there are. So let's take a look at it phrase by phrase. Approximately 18% of students are athletes. So let's say uh, we have S equals students. Okay. And then, of course, A equals athletes. So we list our variables. And, of course, 18% of students are athletes. So 18% is 0.18, 18 over 100. So 0.18 students equals athletes, Okay, according to the first part. Now, if there are 44 athletes, that's great, more information. So A is equal to athletes, which is equal to 44. How many students attend the school? Well, we can just use direct substitution, okay? 0.18 students equals 44. And we want to find out how many students, S. So this is a very straightforward uh, algebra problem. We'll use our calculator. Uh, we'll take uh, 44 and have to divide that by 0.18. And we get 244.44. So let's round it down. So the number of students at the school is 244 approximately. And that should be our solution. Of course, to quickly correct it, to check this, we'll take uh, 244 times 0 0.18, 18%, and we get 43.9, which is 44 athletes. So we have a 20% employee discount and a shirt that costs $19.60 after the discount. What is the original price of the shirt? Um, I really like this question because um, some students might make the casual mistake of saying, well, we have $19.60, let's just take 20% off and find out what 20% of this is and add it back. Um, but that isn't correct. What you need to do is make sure you uh, do percentages in the correct order and have your uh, proper basis amount. So let's take a look at this. Um, let's take uh, the shirt. So let's call S is uh, the original price, original shirt. Okay, so we're going to get the order correct. And uh, the, the rate or the discount, uh, we'll make D, is going to be 20%. Uh, which of course is 20 over 100 or 0.2, okay? And uh, the final price, uh, we'll say P equals 
1960. Okay, so now let, let's uh, let's put the formula together correctly. Um, we have um, the shirt S. That's the original price we're looking for. Okay, and we're going to subtract the discount, and the discount is 20% of the original shirt. So the discount is actually going to be 20.2 from the original shirt. Okay, and that will equal our final price of $19.60. Okay, so we have the original price and we're visualizing it. We take away 20% off of the original price and we end up with $19.60. And there's our equation. So let's solve this. Okay, this of course is the same thing as 1s. So 1s minus 0.20s is 0.80s, and that equals 1960. Okay, and I did actually bring a calculator this time. So we're going to take 1960, okay, and divide by 0.8, and we get 24.5. So s equals 24.5 zero dollars and that is s which is the original price of the shirt and of course we could quickly check our answer if we took 2450 times 0 0.20 that's four dollars and ninety cents and if we took 2450 minus four dollars and ninety cents we would have 1960 which is our special price